Not too long after leaving the Potter's house, well-known preacher T.D. Jakes announced intentions to start a new megachurch in an unexpected move. The evangelical community has been shocked to learn that Jakes plans to launch a new church after unexpectedly leaving the Potter's house. Rather than spending money, well-known author and preacher T.D. Jakes has made waves by announcing his intended megachurch. This announcement comes just a short time after his abrupt exit from the Potter's house, where he had been a devoted servant for more than 30 years. His dramatic eggs created a lot of agitation in the religious communities. Not to be deterred, the charismatic leader quickly turned his energies to a new project, a visionary retreat center designed to serve a large number of committed disciples as a place of spiritual solace. So where did he acquire the funding for the new church's construction? Let's investigate as a group press conference introducing his new ministry, Jake talked to reporters. Everyone who enters this new church will leave with hope, healing, and transformation. He is the appropriate minister at this time, he said. There are still a lot of unanswered questions regarding the specific causes of Jake's abrupt departure from the Potter's house. According to people with direct knowledge of the matter, one major contributing factor may have been Jake's aggressive growth ambitions and progressive attitude to ministry, which caused him to fall out of favor with the church's board of elders. There have also been conjectures on the possibility that his resignation was influenced by financial mismanagement. One thing is certain, despite the intricacy of the situation, T.D. Jakes is committed to returning with renewed vigor and strength. T.D. Jakes is rumored to have raised the funds for the construction of the new church from a variety of sources, including the controversy that erupted online in 2022 when a video purportedly showed Jakes attending Diddy's 53rd birthday celebration in Los Angeles. Many questioned his attendance at an event with a contentious reputation. It was speculated that his participation might have been motivated by financial gain or by donations to charities that were passed off as charity giving. Questions concerning the nature of their long-standing connection and T.D. Jake's potential involvement in dishonest behavior at Diddy's private events were raised. Renowned R and B singer Jaguar Wright recently made startling claims regarding T.D. Jake's that caused a stir in the religious community she said that Jakes went to one of Diddy's parties in order to get money or have sex, claiming that these gatherings are mostly about getting money and having sex. Wright conjectured that Jakes might have attended for financial gain, hoping his participation was driven more by charitable donations than by other considerations. She also charged him with financial misbehavior, saying he had used church funds improperly to finance his opulent lifestyle which included buying pricey residences and cars. Wright claims that Jake has taken advantage of his position of power to dominate and manipulate people around him, including other pastors and churchgoers, by playing on their feelings and beliefs for his own gain. She denounced his lack of openness and implied that, although living opulently behind closed doors, he concealed crucial information. Wright went on to accuse Jake's of picking out weak members of his church and taking advantage of their faith and trust for personal gain. A few people who have shared similar experiences they had with T.D. Jakes have endorsed Wright's assertions. According to earlier revelations, Diddy gave Jakes $500,000 in exchange for his silence over the contentious parties. The acceptable monster at this time, like R. Kelly was, the last time I sat on this couch. Was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party. Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Money. And sex. Don't let the rain stop me. I'm not gonna let the weather stop me. And I'm sure not gonna let the lions stop me. But T.D. Jakes is still a great influence and spiritual mentor today. His speeches on forgiveness, rebirth, and overcoming obstacles and setbacks are televised worldwide and have a profound impact on millions of people. Because of his message of salvation and hope, people from all over the world came to this church, which flourished quickly. Situated a short distance from the Potter's house in a prominent location, the new church will have all the amenities of a contemporary megachurch, including a sizable auditorium and cutting-edge media and technological capabilities.
Jakes claims that this new spiritual sanctuary will represent a renewed commitment to his distinctive blend of biblical teaching, prophetic messages, and personal empowerment, even beyond its architectural allure. Many of his most ardent fans have already shown interest in him. They have given of their time, money, and prayers to make this new venture a success. According to Jessica Watkins, a long-standing Potter's House member, T.D. Jakes has always had an unmatched ability to tell the truth and uplift others, especially when faced with adversity. As he sets out on this new journey, we are behind him 100%. T.D. Jakes and his crew are putting forth a lot of effort to make sure the new congregation launches with a meaningful and seamless experience as building moves forward and anticipation grows. This fresh start offers a man who has experienced his share of setbacks and adversity the chance to grow spiritually. I am confident in who I am, so I did not come to convince you or anybody else. I come to give good and genuine service and to hear the master say, well done. Pastor T.D. Jakes was abruptly dismissed from the pulpit following a live Sunday sermon at his own church, despite his influence and vast teachings. Witnesses and recordings that went viral caught the moment that security personnel and ushers removed Jakes from the podium as he tried to say his final words, as per the elders' directive to do so. With emotions that blended grief and disbelief, Church officials approached him somberly from the potter's home, leaving the loyal assembly in stunned silence. Even though Jakes has had a great deal of success with publications, conferences, television shows, and other media, his ministry has come under fire. His business methods, religious views, and the opulent lifestyle that megachurch pastors are known for have drawn criticism. However, Jakes has not wavered from his goal. Addressing these issues in both his public remarks and his deeds, the strategic direction of the church, financial openness, and leadership succession plans have been the main points of contention between Jake's and the Potter's House elders in recent years. Problems with decision-making and financial management were found during internal audits and reviews. The elders want greater openness and accountability. There was a major rift when Jacques, who was renowned for his strong leadership style, apparently refused to comply with these requests. The elders abruptly changed course and forbade Jacques from preaching at the potter's house. An official statement was released to inform the public and the church of this unexpected decision. The church's elders reaffirmed their commitment to upholding integrity and accountability. According to recent reports, T.D. Jakes was taken into custody on suspicion of embezzling money from the potter's house. Law enforcement claimed that significant amounts of money were misappropriated for Jake's personal gain and launched an inquiry into the church's financial problems. The precise amount is yet unknown, but people close to the investigation think it might be a significant sum, possibly in the millions. In order to gather evidence, the authorities have confiscated bank records and papers and have questioned both present and former church whores. Millions have been impacted by his work through books, television, and seminars. His image has been harmed, though, by recent claims of financial mismanagement at the Potter's House. There has been a great deal of discussion about these assertions as they have proliferated on social media and in religious communities. Jake's admirers find it difficult to reconcile the alarming charges with his inspirational lectures. Financial irregularities are another accusation made by the church's detractors. It is said that millions of dollars in charitable contributions were transferred to Bishop Jake's personal accounts. Although the precise sum is unknown, detectives think it might be high, perhaps in the millions. As part of their investigation, authorities have gathered paperwork and financial records and spoken with both current and past members of the church. Jakes refuted the accusations during a church service on YouTube and promised to address them later. His spokesman called online stories false, highlighting the significance of the truth and cited Pastor Charles. Don't expect me to address falsehoods. I refuse to use this valuable platform for deception. I take a stance and declare the infallible word of God. When the first allegation surfaced, Jake stayed out of the public eye and angrily refuted the accusations through a spokeswoman. Some of his supporters, though, conjecture about different goals. 
There are rumors that Diddy may have given information to federal agents, which prompted Jakes to respond more than once. According to reports, Jakes is allegedly paying Puffy hush money to keep bad information from becoming public. It's probable that the possibility of negative outcomes and reputational damage is what spurred him to take this move. There are rumors that Jakes may have large quantities of money hidden in obscure accounts meant for charitable and community service endeavors. In any case, I hope you had fun participating in charitable and community service projects. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the film, and I sincerely hope that each of us will keep trying to please God.